See if they got discounts. <laughs> <laughs> It's vlog time. It's move time pretty soon. Right now I'm headed to a hair appointment that I'm late for. I'm so upset. And I really wanted Starbucks and I really wanted to bring Becky Starbucks. Go past the slide. <laughs> so, as I was saying, um, I can't go to Starbucks. I sat down at 10.15. I put foundation on and all of a sudden I looked at the clock and it was 10.40. This is not share. This is not share. Dang it. And that is literally my life. Like, it's so frustrating to literally not have a concept of how much time is passing. I'm like racking my brain to remember what I could have possibly done for that much time and I don't remember all I remember doing was opening the blinds guys I made it and Becky opened her own salon oh my gosh I don't want to go in I don't want to go in because I'm about to cry tell me why I'm about to cry I drove past Elizabeth subdivision on the way here so that might be part of it and I'm late and she opened her own oh my god oh cool and I just realized I don't even have eyebrows on <laughs> I can't show you my before, but you guys saw what it looked like. Many hours later. Okay, I'm done and I can't even show you, but um, it's a little bit more blonde, you know? I kind of feel trendy. What do you think? Mm, she did such a good job. I'm way blonder. Anyway, okay, it's moving day, finally. We've been waiting 10 months on this house. Today is moving day. Nick's downstairs waiting for me. He's a little bit crabby. We're gonna make him in a better mood. I'm gonna make coffee first. Hey, you want to tell us why you're crabby today? Why am I crabby today? Mm -hmm. You know why? Do you have an opinion of why? Because you think I took too long to get ready? <laughs> Typical. But I'm cute. Yeah! So what are we getting? Barbecue. I don't really like this barbecue place because uh, the ribs were dry, but... There was no sauce on the ribs. Exactly. <laughs> Any place that would do that is not a barbecue place. I asked them to put it on the side for you, and they just didn't put it on the side. <sighs> okay. I don't have to go in, right? Yeah, we're going to go in here and eat. We're not going to go sit down. Yeah. It's quick. Oh my god. It's a quick thing. Yeah. It's like nest quick. But there's people in there. There's no people in there. It's a beautiful Saturday. There's people. Change of plan. Barbecue place was closed. Thank goodness. We're going to go to <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, but see, they ain't open. So first, we're going to pop in here. This Bob's Discount Furniture. Bob's Bob, repeat it. See if they got discounts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, acting like he owns the place. Peekaboo! Oh my god, Danny DeVito, I love your work! So, so our Bath & Beyond trip was, the damage wasn't too bad. I spent $300. <laughs> But moving's expensive. All right, so it's time to start moving some stuff over. The first thing I want to move over here is the bird because I feel really bad for her right now. She's been alone for a few hours. She's probably wondering what's happening. And I really want to do like a slow transition because African greys are so particular. So I want to have her here for most of the day today and then take her back home to her like normal environment to sleep, maybe for two nights. She's been here several times. I'm tr I've been trying to get her used to it, but I feel like no matter what, she's gonna be distressed. So I'm a little anxious. So I had the most genius idea. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner, but I got this clear plastic mat for like, I think it's intended to go under a rolly chair in a carpeted office. But I thought it would be amazing for under the birdcage to protect the floor from all the poop and stuff. Look who's in her new home. Is that exciting? You got a cool window. Yeah. Now be good and don't scream the whole time, okay? <laughs> you know, another thing I feel so thankful about is that to move, we could just walk back and forth. We didn't have to have a U-Haul. Really didn't even have to pack that much. I just spent a lot of time organizing. Thank you. It's so great, you guys. Everything's great. So what we're doing is bringing all of our like drawers from our current kitchen over and just like transferring things into the new drawers that we want, throwing some stuff away, and I have a Goodwill box. A fun way to move. Who's that lady? I was gonna say, everything that comes out of the kitchen doesn't necessarily need to stay in the kitchen. There's the Genster's here. The, the Genster and Amy. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Taking a little break. Wanted to bend my knees. We're getting a lot accomplished though. We brought my dining room table from my old house over and it looks so ugly. 
<laughs> Looks so ugly in this house, it doesn't work at all. Especially with the new dining room chairs. So here's the current situation. It's been kind of nice to like purge stuff. I got a Goodwill box here. Got rid of expired food. <laughs> Pantry's getting full. Turns out I had an empty jar of salsa with like just a little liquid in the bottom. So that was, it's kid room time. Minus the bunk beds. I got most of the decor from Society6 because I just have so much cool stuff that I like can't really find in stores, you know? But it is a gamble. You know, with anything you buy online, it can look one way on the website and not quite look like that in real life. Oh, I love it. Yes. No, I'm vlogging. I got a bunch of like floor pillows because I thought they would just be super fun. And then I just got like fun neon pillows for the bunk beds and stuff. I'm so excited. Oh, cool. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> oh, new balls. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so today's Monday and we have blinds on all the windows. We got them at Home Depot yesterday. Um, again, I wanted to throw up from the price. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's five. But then the other two little windows. Moving's getting expensive, y'all. They look so good, don't you think? And I'm super excited because our Chewy order came. Bird treats and bird toys and stuff for a fraction of the price that Compared to when I go into the store, this was a dollar. Then I got a Kong and this squeezy peanut butter stuff. And I she's, try it. she's gonna be the happiest dog in the world. No, I wanna do it. You wanna try it? No, I wanna do it in her Kong. But don't you wanna try it? Oh, you mean like eat it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try it. Seems like something you would try. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Okay, so these are the new lights for up there. But they had this ugly bright white inside that looked super cheap. And Dante spray painted them and they look a million percent better. Good job. <laughs> Boys and girls, we got couches. And it already looks more like a home. Let's go see what Channy's doing in the kid room. Dang. It's looking good. Is it gonna be too tall? Uh, Look how organized he is with putting this together. All right, friends, so I know this shot is pretty bad, but right about here you can see what the lights looked like before. And here is the after. For whatever reason, it came blurry when Nick airdropped it to me. I'm sorry, but you can kind of get the idea. And now let's fast forward a few weeks. Hey, I have no idea how much time has passed since I was last vlogging. I don't even know where to start today. I have so much to do. In fact, let me just show you. Here's the state of the kitchen. Here's the bird office. Oh yeah, what do you tell me more? <laughs> Hello? Oh, birdie! Here's a kid room. And here's what the master bedroom looks like. I did get a full length mirror in here from Amazon and it's about like half as big as I thought it was. <laughs> But hey, at least I can see how boring and beige my outfits look, you know? For some reason, for one reason or another, my biggest source of stress right now is this closet because trying to like get dressed and get ready and stuff, it's just a, a cluster in here. Turns out it's just not quite big enough for me and Nick's stuff. So he very lovingly was willing to move his stuff to the bird room. I swear I didn't ask him to, he volunteered. That will free up some space for me and then I think we're gonna take this door and have it swing out into the bedroom because it's, I feel like I'm losing like 30% of the closet. Now I just have to like find a way to get this organized without getting overwhelmed. I need a friend, but I don't have any. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Hey, you know what I just thought of? I should go up to Nick when he gets home and say, hey, this closet ain't big enough for the two. 
at this girls look at all this real estate i have now i feel like it's one of those days where like i have the motivation mentally but my body is not cooperating like every tiny little task all my muscles are fatigued i can't regulate my body temperature and i feel really sluggish i already feel like i need a nap and a coffee and a hug <laughs> i think my thyroid's low why is the counter sticky and i'm very upset with you <laughs> I got this at Ikea. Okay, let's make some coffee. By the way, your views and your support bought me the fridge that makes cool ice like this, so thank you. Look at it, look at it, Jimmy. Little sugar-free hazelnut. For my sugar-free friends out here, which please you probably shouldn't get because it's not good for you. <gasps> Dang it. This is why I'm not a TikToker, man. I want to be so bad, but I just can't. Oh! No, too sweet. No, too sweet. There, that's way cuter. Dang it. What? What's this, Carhartt? Heart? This is so cute. I love when you like order stuff, like, and you don't remember what exactly you ordered in the package, you know? So cute. I'm gonna be the belle of the ball. You guys wanna know what 90% of being a YouTuber is? It is talking to oneself. I'm trying on these new dresses, like, as I go, and this one is brand new. I'm not obsessed with it on me, so it's gonna go on my Poshmark, so if someone wants this dress. Don't worry, I showered. All right, kids, so my dressies are hung up. I got enough dresses to last a lifetime. Moving on to this entire box of shapewear. <gasps> wait. I was gonna wait till things were cuter, but this is actually a great opportunity to talk to you guys about this. I mean, it's gonna be messy, but it's real life. You ready for the best shapewear of your life? Before, and this is after. Check it out, kids. Can you believe the smoothness? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the liftwear tank from Honey Love. All the shapewear from Honey Love is amazing, but I am partial in particular to the liftwear tank. I've talked to you guys about it, I think, twice before. This is the first time they've sponsored me. This tank top is a game changer. You do not have to wear a bra. I repeat, you don't have to wear a bra. And therefore, you don't have that bra bulge, you know what I mean? It comes in a ton of different colors. My black one and my beige one are both in the wash, so I'm wearing this blue one today. There's a color for everybody. See, I'm just all held in. Sometimes you just wanna be snatched, you know? I need someone else filming me to like really show you guys. See, and it has this grip down here so that it doesn't roll up. Nobody likes a really uppy tank. I also love that it has removable pads. They come out super easily, but they also hold their shape pretty well, as you can see by my demonstration. Point is, I'm obsessed. I wear it con- Point is, I'm obsessed. I wear it- are you done? Point is, I'm obsessed. I wear it constantly, and I think you guys are really gonna love it. Top of the line shapewear, bro. So if you're interested in trying this tank top or anything from Honey Love, click the link in the description box to save 10%. So thanks, Honey Love, for sponsoring a portion of today's vlog. Now back to the vlog. Side note, they also make this bra. Um, I don't know what it's called, but look how wide and just smoothing it is. This is actually the back I wanted to show you. It has boning on the side so you don't get like side boob. And it is also literally phenomenal. Um, just pretend you don't see the deodorant right there. Many hours later. All right, guys, I'm at about the halfway point. This is what my life's looking like. Taylor's helping me out. There's my senior prom dress. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I'm making progress. Many, many minutes later. Okay, so this is my pile for Poshmark. I have a donate pile that I don't want to show because I don't want to hurt the feelings of anybody who gave me things that I'm donating. Oh, got a dirty pile. And here is the after of the closet look at the floor look it up here and now this little area right here i feel like i have room to put like a shoe rack now we got a corner pile of straight up trash and all this to attack next <laughs> Restocked on this perfume yesterday. Thank you. Restocked the dragon milk from truly beauty yesterday. Thank you. I keep my receipt. He bought it. We would acknowledge the bird. She's Yeah, but I want to acknowledge you first, which is cute. Well, isn't that special? Hi.